As you can see, I'm wearing other hat today, so this video is gonna be a little bit off-brand. So today, I've got a box, but it's not full of PS2 games. Now, you may be looking at it and thinking, that's clearly the box for an Xbox 360, it's gotta be full of Xbox 360 games. But it is also not full of Xbox 360 games. Check it out. This box, and you may have figured this out already if you follow me on Twitter, is full of cameras. Yeah, just, just cameras. Because today I had the realization, well, the second time I've had this realization, I ignored it the first time, that I have a lot of cameras, like way too many, and I don't use most of them, so I figured I'd gather them all up, see which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to throw out, which ones I want to donate somewhere, and yeah, I figured we'd go through them together. Now, some of these are cameras that obviously I'm going to keep because they're not technically cameras, they just have cameras attached to them, but I figured it'd be fun to go through them and see all the different cameras I happen to own, so here we go. I'm gonna get the biggest one out of the way first. Uh, it's this. I didn't want to take it out of its case when I put it in here, but um, I think I might keep this one just because it's kind of an interesting relic. It's an old Polaroid camera with the viewfinder and the little slot for photos to come out with. I don't know if I have any film for it or anything, but it's just kind of neat, I guess. So yeah, I'll probably keep this one. Not sure what I'd do with it though. Next we will choose, oh, there's a bunch of instruction manuals in the bottom of this thing. Uh, this is a Polaroid, check it. It's, it's not really necessary, <laughs> like, I mean, I guess it's to protect the lens, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this is just a digital camera. Look, it's got the old USB thing. I think this might've been my sister's or my mom's back in the day. I, I don't know how I ended up with it. I was probably using it to film shitty videos at some point. Whatever. Uh, next, well, I could just throw this out. Like, even if there's photos on it, where the hell would I go to develop them? It's just, I don't know. I never liked these disposable cameras. Like, even when they were, like, the big thing, like, you just, like, use them to take, like, 20 photos and then get rid of them. Like, I never cared for them. Waste of plastic. Ooh, here's a blast from the past. My old LG Xenon. I actually did film a YouTube video with this once, but it was before I actually started giving a shit about making YouTube videos, so... I used this to film a video of me hanging out with my friends in the lunchroom in high school. In, like, grade 9, I think. Ah, so getting some serious nostalgia vibes off this thing. It served me well for a long time, and it proved to me that I'm the only person in my family that can have a phone without losing it. Seriously, I held on to this thing for like all four years of high school, and all the other phones that were bought at the same time as this one, because like we bought like all of our phones as part of a plan for my family, this is the only one that survived. My sister lost her phone, my mom lost her phone, my dad... Well, maybe he kept it, but I think he broke it, and like, I don't know. So yeah, videos on this thing weren't great, but it did start me down a rather bizarre path. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's underwater. It's It's got a case for going underwater. I think my parents gave me this for Christmas. Um, or they gave it to my sister for, for Christmas? Uh... Yeah, I don't think we ever used this once. It... Is this a digital? Yeah, it's digital. I don't... That's... Weird. Yeah, I'd... I don't know. I've never used this. I don't think we'd ever have a reason to take photos underwater, even though we did have a pool, but... Like, who the fuck would care? <laughs> I think I might donate this one or just throw it away. I mean, who would want it, right? But it... I think this is another one of the same brand. Look at that. I like the color. That's nice. This is, yeah, it's a digital camera, but like, um, I found the cords for it. They're really weird, like not standardized at all. That's pretty much the case for most of my old electronics. But yeah, this is a digital camera, but it's a piece of fucking garbage. And I don't think I ever really used it for anything. It's just for taking photos, so say cheese. I'm pretty sure I still have the instruction manual for this. Um, I might be able to donate it, but they'll probably throw it out anyway. Like, it's ancient. 
Next, uh, let's do something a little bit more high-tech. Um, I say high-tech. This is an old iPhone. I don't know what one it is. Like, iPhone 4? 3? No, probably 4. Um, yeah. This was a gift from my aunt. Like, she had upgraded to a new phone and she was like, here, have this one. I never actually hooked it up to any service or anything. I just used it as, like, a fancy iPod touch. But, um, <laughs> the back of it is all cracked up because I dropped it. What? Which, let's face it, I got pretty lucky. I mean, the front of it relatively unharmed and, like, the camera on it worked out fine. I, I actually use this camera to film, um, the Android version of Thomas Was Alone for the Thomas Was Alone review because I was a fucking idiot and couldn't figure out how to record the screen on my Android phone, so I was just like, oh, I'll just record it with an iPhone. I was so fucking stupid. I'm certain at the time there was already an app for that. Ugh, I'm an idiot. But, you know, iPhones and iPod Touches in general are the reasons why I refuse to buy a phone with, like, a home button, because these things break so fucking easily. It's so annoying. Just no way. Ne never buying a phone with a home button ever again. Never in my life. It's a decently high quality camera, I'll, I'll admit that. Like, it's a million years out of date though. I never bothered to update it either, so it, it's still got the YouTube app on it, but um, like the original one, but it doesn't work anymore. Go figure. Okay, um, this one, it's another one of those slider things. Yeah. Apparently this is just what we were doing back in the early days of digital. Um, yeah, that's that's one hell of a connector port. Uh, yeah, so this is an HP whatever the fuck. Um, PhotoSmart. I think I still have the instruction manual for this. This, I didn't buy this. This was a gift from my aunt, not the one who gave me the iPhone. A different one. Uh, I think she was just like done using it, so she was just like, here, have it. I don't think I ever use this for anything. Uh, yeah. I don't know, does it have like an SD card in it? No, there's nothing in here. That one I think can be donated. For sure. Oh wait, what the fuck? I don't remember how I got- this is another PhotoSmart- hold on. Okay. PhotoSmart 435. PhotoSmart M447. Huh. Talk about an upgrade. Yeah. Neat. This one's still garbage, though, and so is this. Yeah, I don't remember where I got this one. Don't remember ever using it for anything. I do recall that I used to use my family's old HP camera that like, we used it for years and years, and it eventually broke, but... Yeah, that's the one I remember using. I don't ever remember using something like this. Whatever. Uh, donate, I guess. Okay, now this one is just me being a smartass because the camera on the 3DS is fucking shit. Like, we've we've witnessed this before. I took a video with it in one of my reviews. Um, so yeah. The 3DS is a decent system. I need to buy a new one of these, though, because mm, this one's almost broken. Like, the R button doesn't even really work anymore. Whether you're trying to use this camera or this, the cameras on the 3DS fucking suck, okay? Just facts. But I'm obviously keeping this until I get a new one. Let's go even more old school. Um, yeah, this one is just, it just takes photos. It uses film, I think. This shit ain't digital. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd ever end up using this. But it's definitely not mine, so I should probably check with my parents before I throw it out. They might want it for something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Again, even if there is, like, film with photos on it in this, where the hell am I gonna go to get them developed, right? Yeah. So, we'll put that one in stasis for a while. Yeah, so we've still got a couple left in here. Um, this is my old iPod Touch. Um, I had a few of these, but one of them got stolen, and the other one, the screen got cracked or whatever. I don't know what happened to it, but it's not really relevant because it was so old it didn't even have a camera. I forgot how tiny these things are. Like, it actually, like, fits in my hand really well. Like, look at that. 
Unlike the fucking beasts of phones we have today, this could like fit in the front pocket of my jeans. That's fantastic. Now I used to be really into like the iTouch things, not, not so much just Apple products, but the iPod touch and the iPhones and stuff. And the only reason that I bought this is because I wanted to watch YouTube videos on it <laughs> because it could connect to Wi-Fi, and then I'd be able to watch YouTube videos anywhere. That's literally the only reason why I bought it. <laughs> Man, that was one hell of an upgrade from MP3 players, I can tell you that much. I'm sure I used this to film some random shit back in the day, yeah. So yeah, I don't think I could sell this or anything, like who the hell would want to buy an old iPod Touch, but it's something. Might donate it, I don't know. There's another old one. Yep. Focus Free. Never friggin' heard of that company, but yeah, it's just another camera that takes photos, uses film. The only thing I really remember of this one is we used it to take pictures on a camping trip once, and I can't remember another thing about it. I don't think there's any film in it or anything, but eh, I can probably donate it. I don't think anyone would want it, though. Hmm. Oh, there's a classic. Check it out. <laughs> It's my old DSi, with the camera that's way fucking better than anything the 3DS has to offer. Ugh, I use this thing to take pictures all the friggin' time. I, I love this one, like seriously. Just, anytime I was on a road trip, I'd just be like, take a picture of that, take a picture of that. I loved all the effects you could do with it, like changing people's expressions or like making everything black and white and then making one thing a certain color, like, just, just look at it. This was a great thing, okay? I'm not getting rid of this. There's no way I can get rid of this. It's, it's too good. I love this. All right, um, there's still a few left, but, um, this one is one of the newer ones. It's a cool pix. I bought it because I thought that I could take higher quality video with it. You can tell in the reviews that I used it for, it's, it's not good. Like, everything just came out all grainy and shitty. It, it films in like 720p, which sounds nice, but honestly, it shouldn't be used for anything other than just taking photos for fun. It shouldn't be used for any serious video making because pretty much every smartphone that I've ever had takes better pictures than this thing. It's, uh, it's crap, okay? I, I don't want to donate it because I paid a hundred bucks for it, but I don't know anyone who would want to buy this second hand, so maybe I'll just throw it against a wall and see what happens. Fuck's sake. And speaking of old smartphones, this is my old Nexus. I think in terms of review, ugh, it's pretty dusty. In terms of reviews that I've used this for, this is the phone that I was playing Thomas Was Alone on in the Thomas Was Alone review, and I used it to film me turning on my Game Boy Advance in the Spy Kids 3D review. So yeah, I haven't really used this thing much since I was in the college dorms. Uh, yeah, but it, it was a good phone until it broke. Like, first the screen got smashed and I fixed that, but then the volume buttons got stuck on it and now whenever it turns on, it'll only boot in safe mode, so it still works with the pre-installed apps. You can use it as a phone, but for everything else, it's all blocked off because it can only load in safe mode. And also, the volume buttons being stuck is just a pain in the ass anyway, but I sort of feel like I might be able to sell this thing for like 30 bucks because I'm pretty sure you could fix the whole booting in safe mode thing by rooting it somehow, but I can't be bothered. Oh, what the... I hated this thing. Just... This... This has a bit of a history, if you'll indulge me. Um, okay. My mom got this for me at some sort of, like, thing at her work where somebody was giving away a bunch of old shit, and she picked it up for me because she knew that I wanted to make videos and stuff, so... I tried filming with this thing, and after, like, ten seconds of filming, it stops filming because the memory's full, and I'm just like, okay, well then it probably has a bunch of shit on the SD card, but I didn't have a cable cord for it, my dad eventually got me one, but 
It was all for naught, all right? It just... <sighs> this camera should not be able to film videos. It, it shouldn't be, because look at the fucking SD card that comes with it. I, wa I want you to fucking see this. Okay, look at this thing. This thing is fucking gigantic. It's like the size of a 3DS game cartridge. Fucking, fucking 16 megabytes. 16 megabytes. That's all it's fucking got on there. Just... <sighs> I hate this camera. I hate this camera. 16 megabytes on a fucking SD card this big. And I don't know how fucking old this camera is, but it needs to be shot. Like, somebody just needs to fucking bury it, put it in the ground, smash it with a fucking hammer. This thing is worthless. It's worthless. <sighs> Look at the back of this thing. Like, it's got all these different modes and shit. Like, it looks all fancy, but it's got a 16 megabyte SD card. What's even the point of it existing? You can't use it for anything. <sighs> this thing, I don't even want to curse this upon anyone by donating it. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw it out. Fuck this thing. All right, we're almost done. Um... This is my old Moto X Play. It, it's fucking gigantic for no reason. I can barely fit this thing in my hand. And, you know, it had a really good battery life. That is basically the only good thing you can say about it. I used it as a camera for the reviews for a little while. Um, yeah, and it's... The camera is decently high quality enough. It's, it's fine, but, like, eventually the screen got smashed somewhere or another. I got it fixed, but the people who fixed it, like, fucked it up massively. I, like, it's just shit now. And, yeah, the battery drains in, like, five seconds. It was a good phone for the time I had with it, but it is fucking worthless now, okay? Ah, looks like we'll be finishing with the beginning. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, so this is the camera that I used to film all my reviews with. I think, uh, this was my sister's, and she wasn't using it anymore, so I took it. Yeah, it was, well, to be fair, not all that great, but, you know, it was something to fill my reviews with. Before I got my microphone, I was actually recording the audio for my review by putting my face up to the microphone on the camera and just speaking directly into it. Yeah, that was a really shitty way to do things, and so was filming with this. I didn't even have, like, a tripod or anything for it. I just, like, stuck it on top of a really tall piggy bank I had. It served its purpose, but I don't really need it anymore, and I don't really have a reason to keep it other than, like, maybe just my own personal history, but, yeah, I think I could get away with donating this. I'm sure some kid would probably find some use out of it. I don't know. That was one hell of a trip down memory lane, but most of these cameras I don't even need or even use, so... Glad that I figured out what to do with them. I was actually pretty productive. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm filming with currently, it's an LG G6. Yes, it's a phone, but like the camera's pretty high quality on it. Like you can see it right now, it's 1080p. It's probably the best quality camera that I've ever owned. It, it works. It It's better than like buying like a, a professional camcorder or anything like that. I can't afford that shit. So yeah, those are all the cameras.